Has this ever happened to you? You're in your chair, scrolling through the pages of this manga you're reading, and suddenly... Oh no! It looks like your fingers cramped from all the excessive... Well, scrolling. How could this ever happen? If only there was a way to read manga without touching the mouse at all. Well, in this video, I'm here to propose a solution. And after this video ends, friendship ended with scroll wheel. Now automatic manga scroller is my best friend. And so, in this video, I'll take you through the pain of implementing the automatic manga scroller. How it works, and everything in between. In order to make an automatic manga scroller, first we need a manga to actually scroll through. For demonstration purposes, I'll be reading the manga Shonen Hobbies, which I highly recommend if you're down bad, or if you want, well, depression, but mainly because the live action is funny, and one of the theme song is sung by Rim. After we've selected our manga, we need to get the content of the manga to scroll through. To do this, I'll be using Beautiful Soup, which is a Python library made for pulling data out of HTML and XML files. All we have to do is get the URL of the site and let Beautiful Soup do the rest of the image scraping. Beautiful Soup doesn't actually return an image though, instead it gives us an object with a link to the image inside it. So we send a HTML request to get the image content from the link in the source attribute in the object. And with that done, we now have the pages of the manga in our images folder. So, here's the plan. Make a graphical user interface to show a page, and then add a timer to show how much time we have left to read the page, and then show the next page after the timer expires, and then finally, download the next chapter after it finishes scrolling through the current chapter. Got that? Good. Because it's done now, you can configure the window size, amount of time per page, and even the chapter you want to start reading. As you can see, it works perfectly fine. 5 seconds is way more than enough time to read a page and oh no, why is there so much text? Okay, let's see how much time we have left. Oh sh- <laughs> Well, that was a bust. It turns out that each page does not have the same amount of text and thus each page does not take the same amount of time to read. If only there was a way to scale the reading time by how many words are on the page. Wait, what's that? I think it's optical character recognition! Using OCR, we can detect the words on the screen. I'm going to be using easy OCR this time. It's a bit slow, but all that means is I have more time to read. Basically, for every word it detects, it adds half a second to the timer, plus however many extra seconds it takes to actually do the scan. You can also configure how much time it adds, and this means that you'll have a lot of time to read the pages with a lot of words, and a few seconds to read the pages without many words. And here are the results. You can see that on this page I get about a minute to read, but on this page I only get 10 seconds to read. Wow, technology. And with all that being said, how about I go read some manga? Automatically. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize for being so inactive these past few months. To be honest, I kinda got tired of doing YouTube. I'll make more videos once I have a good idea or whenever I feel like it. Whichever one comes first. Thanks for all the support guys and thanks for watching.